If the U.S. is in debt, why can't we just print more money? So most of us have heard that the U.S. is about 33 trillion dollars in debt. To who? Well, it's a little hard to explain, but basically citizens, a couple foreign countries, and the federal government itself invest in bonds so the government can spend money on paying employees and government programs. Yes, the federal government is in debt to itself. Just try not to think too hard about it. So we've got a lot of debt. Why can't we just print more money and pay it all off? Well, because of a little thing called inflation. Think of it this way. In this scenario, rose equals money. If Rosie is 10 roses and Riggy is zero roses, then Rosie is rich and Riggy is poor. But if Riggy grows 10 roses for himself, Himself, now both of them are rich and nobody's poor, which makes the rose useless. The more money you print, the less value money has because the more common it is. It's like how if one person has a gold ring that everyone wants, it can be really expensive. But if everyone has gold rings, it doesn't matter anymore. So basically, that's why printing money is horrible. Okay, I hear you, but what if I really like money and I just want more of it? Were you listening to a word I just said? Not really. Usually I just read the list of poses you need from me and tune you out. Mother- Okay, now you know. Illegal lore. Why is it so hard to counterfeit money? So you have your money and you want to make it into more money, which should be easy. I mean, it's paper, so you can just use this stuff, right? No. Paper money is actually not paper and is instead a blend of linen and cotton, meaning if you use normal paper, we're going to prison. Okay, so say you've somehow gotten your cotton linen blend. That means this material is indistinguishable from this material, right? Wrong again. See, in the fabric of money, there are small blue and red fibers woven in, making the material very slightly different, but still enough for the police to throw us in prison. All right, so now we have the fibers in it. Surely we can start printing now, right? Nope. Modern printers and copy machines will recognize and prevent you from copying money, so they are completely out of the question. Not to mention the designs on money are put there with a special ink that we don't really have easy access to. But even if we get a 1970s printer and the special ink, it still won't work because money has serial numbers and you can't really fake those.